Hey everyone, I've got the IMT Analytics Citrix H5 here and I just want to go over some of the fine details because I had a lot of people when I showed them this device ask me a lot of in-depth questions about its limitations and about its functionality and I didn't exactly know what to tell them. I knew roughly what the figures will be for its pressure and its flow rates and stuff but I didn't know exactly what it was going to be. So let's go over that right now. I'm going to put this guy right here. I actually have the data sheet for this guy and I'm not going to go over every single little thing, just the areas that a lot of people had a lot of questions on. So right off the bat, the screen, okay, people have asked me about the screen. It is a 4.3 inch multi-touch display, just like your, your cell phone. It's 800 by 480 pixels. Now I'm actually kind of surprised about that because the resolution looks like it's really high. Like you can see the little numerics and the waveforms and everything in, in so much detail. So that one kind of blew me away. Um, it's got flow and pressure trigger settings, flow and pressure. So you can configure this guy to do a whole bunch of stuff. And we'll get into some of that a little bit later because it's not just flow and pressure. You can do other types of triggers. We'll get into that in a moment. It can do up to 17 gas standards and up to 26 respiratory parameters. Holy cow. I don't even know what most of that stuff is. I was flipping through all the different gas standards and everything, and I was like, oh my God, there's so much I don't know about respiratory. But come to find out, a lot of these standards you will never ever see. And that's just because, you know, this is a device that can be sold around the world, and there are standards on the other side of the world that we're never going to see here in the United States of America. It doesn't even matter. There's only a couple standards that we're going to use, and it does statistical evaluations. Like, it does analysis of some of the stuff that's going on inside it. And I haven't gone into the app store yet. There is a little app store for this guy where you can download different apps. They call them apps, but it's really, it's like uh, templates for testing different types of ventilators. You can do all sorts of stuff. Um, there's going to be uh, little applets for testing blenders, flow meters, for uh, testing different types of ventilators, BiPAPs, CPAPs. There's going to be a whole bunch of different little apps that you can download and I went through some of the ones for like the V60 and I was amazed at how much detail they incorporated into the checklist. It's pretty impressive guys. I will tell you that. Now, if I had to use this with somebody else, I would love the fact that I can set up a, a profile. So I can set up a profile for me, for my specific layout. Cause I'm, I'm kind of particular about my test equipment, but if I were to set it up my particular way, save my profile and say my ventilator guy, if he wants to run, or I've got a guy that does a lot of blenders and stuff, he can set up his, and the fact that you can make some of the numerics really large because he doesn't have the best visual acuity, because he's kind of getting to be a little older guy, but the fact that you can customize so much stuff in here makes this an ideal little contraption for even setting it up for different types of technicians. So anyway, um, that is just this page, just the front page. Now, there is a lot of detail on the spec sheet and I'm not going to go through everything but there are some stuff that people have definitely asked me about and we're going to cover those right now. First off, pressure. Okay, uh, one of the first things somebody told me is that they weren't happy with the fact that this guy uh, can't do negative pressure. And I said, yes, it can. For, for sure it can. Um, and in fact, uh, right on the back, it's got a port that's rated at 10 bar and you got a couple other ports right here that say it's plus or minus 200 millibar. So these ones here are for other pressure readings, but it will take pressure readings in the main flow channel plus from the back at a couple different spots. So this guy can do quite a bit. It says, I don't work on respiratory enough to be able to explain it to you and, and that kind of clarity. Just know it's got some range guys. Because for pressure, it does negative one bar to 10 bars. I know, let that click. It doesn't sound like much because the numbers are rather small, right? Let me clarify it for you. It does negative 14.5 PSI. Does that number sound a little familiar? To 145 PSI. The reason it can do negative 14.5 PSI, guess what atmospheric pressure is? 14.7. So that means that this guy can almost pull a total vacuum. And that's actually pretty impressive. Um, 
it could, goes down to negative 14.5 psi or for you guys that work on uh vacuum systems like i don't know gravity sterilizers it can go down to negative 29.53 inches of mercury that's a lot that's most vacuum gauges max out at negative 30 inches of, of mercury because that's one atmosphere. After that is total vacuum. There's nothing left. It goes all the way up to 145 PSI. Guys, when I said before that this, this guy could actually hook up and test line pressure, you betcha it can. Line pressure, that means I could use this guy to test pneumatic tourniquets. I could use it with adapters to check pressures to certify my rooms. You can do a lot of stuff with this guy. All you have to do is come up with probably a quick connect adapter that, that plugs onto the screw down port. Let me see the port right there that I'm referencing. These ones here are the lower pressure ports. This is high pressure and it's got that collet style nut that's gonna squeeze down on that uh, tubing so that it doesn't pop off and maybe injure you. So anyway, that's for pressure. Negative one to 10 bars, okay? It can measure temperatures. It can also measure humidity, but temperatures, it can go from zero degrees to 50 degrees C. For you American folk, that is 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, well within the spec of anything that we're gonna be measuring, all right? One of the cool things, I've mentioned it a couple times before, you can actually hook this guy up to a multi-gas analyzer, all right? And that is called the OR-703 and it can measure CO2, N2O, it can do halothane, ISO, it can do ENF, sevofluorane, desfluorane, you know it. It can, it can measure all sorts of multi-gases right through here. If you work on anesthesia machines, you wanna test those uh, vaporizers, this guy can do it all in one, you know. Leave it connected to the machine and check it for leaks, check it for accuracy of the dial, and you can do a lot of stuff with this and the little OR-703 attachment, which is the multi-gas analyzer attachment, connects up here to these ports on the top. So that is the multi-gas analyzer option. Now let's go to the main channel. What can it do? For uh, breaths per minute, it can measure from one to a thousand breaths per minute. One thousand breaths per minute? Holy cow, that's a high frequency ventilator right there. I couldn't even fathom. Um, for volumes, now some of this is kind of interesting. Volumes, it's got a 2% accuracy on volumes or plus or minus 0.2 milliliters. 2% accuracy? I would have said maybe 5, I assume is probably normal, 5%. They got 2% accuracy. What's even more interesting is it can measure 2% accuracy, obviously at the max flow rate, right? And the flow rate on this guy is up to 300 liters per minute. 300 liters per minute? That's like taking a cylinder and cracking that bad boy wide open. 300 liters per minute. Do you know how much air is flapping through there? And it can measure 300 liters per minute with an accuracy of 1.9% or 100 milliliters. 300 liters per minute and it can measure that within 100 milliliters? And as I just said, it, it's got a 2% accuracy on volumes at that flow rate? <laughs> this thing is insane. Now, I obviously, I would love to tear this guy apart and see exactly what makes it tick. But I can see inside the coils that are in there, and I can only fathom how precise this device really is. Obviously, you open it up, its tolerances are just shot. But what a compact little device. And... Obviously, I don't work on respiratory, but I can tell you right now, normally you sacrifice something when you move to a smaller form factor. Either you lose options, you lose uh, connectivity, um, you're probably also going to lose things like accuracy. That's what you would assume when you move to a smaller form factor. But uh, not this time. Not this time, guys. This guy has got all of its stats in a very nice data sheet. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to this data sheet in the description below because if you guys have any curiosities whatsoever about this guy, 
I think you should take a look at it. The Citrix H5. Such an amazing little device. And every single person I have shown this little device, they have loved it. It comes in this neat little kit with everything you need right here to go out and pound some cement and get some work orders done. That's all I got to say. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this guy is like in the field when it's hooked up to a machine. Hey guys, I've been here playing around with the IMT Analytics Citrix H5. And this guy's quite the little analyzer. It's got a lot of functionality, a lot of features built in. Let's take a look. I'll show you as best I can of what I know about it so far. All right, guys, here we got IMT Citrix H5. It's a very little guy. Look how tiny it is. And you can see I have it just sitting on its own carry bag. It comes in a very neat kit. And it also has a test lung inside it. I have got it hooked up to a Covidia 980. And it's running, it's trucking along. I did go into sleep mode. As you can see what it's doing currently. There's a main menu up here at the top. It's very similar to what you'd find on an Android tablet. I do believe it's running Android. And I think you can tap up there to set the date and time and whatnot. But the main place we're gonna be is measurement. You can also set up profiles. So let's say you do pediatrics or you do adults. Uh, you, can, you can see there's a bunch of hospitals that are already set up. Kinda cool. Um, we can go into settings, uh, about, you can see calibration data on it. Um, let's take a look. So here's one of the things I think is very unique about this guy. You can get profiles or set procedures for ventilators. You can see here I got the Philips V60 verification, Bella Vista. There's, there's a few of them already installed. And depending on the profile I figured out, there'll be different ventilators preloaded into the system. So here we go. Let's go into measurement. One of the first things that you should do when you get it is probably set it up. So here you can see we got gas standards. But we can do our gas type triggers. Um, this is all the hardware set up. Now here down here at the bottom is the numerics. We can edit these fields. You touch and hold. There's a delete. There's edit. Let's go into edit. So this is the numeric right here and all its options and then let's go ahead let's change an option TE TI let's do you can see there are lots of options that we can set up for in here let's do title volume okay so we are currently running at 455 we're set up for 5 508 is what it thinks it's kicking out set up for 500 and when we're done configuring this guy, we just hit the check. There we go. Such a tiny screen. This, this screen here is only, what, two and a half, three inches by four inches. It's a really tiny screen, but the resolution is incredibly high. Look at this. And we can also touch over here, and we can edit these guys. Everything on here is customizable. And when you think that maybe you want more than four numerics, check this out. You swipe down, see this little red bar over the side? Swipe up, swipe down, so you can add four more numerics just on the primary screen. But look up here, there are other options. One, two, three, four, different screens. So you swipe to the side, oh, here, that one. Swipe to the side, you have all numerics on this one and they probably are editable. Yep, you can edit it. Move them around however you want. We swipe to the side again. And you can see right here, we got the pressure waves. Extremely cool. In detail. Swipe again. Now, I really like this screen. We got flow, we got pressure, we got tidal volume, peep, uh, inspiration and expiration rate. All in one screen. I really dig that, guys. And this is from the default screen. I think it's very useful. Not to mention the fact that you can uh, you know, move stuff around and make it custom. Hey guys, uh, that is a Citrix H5, and it is such a cool device. Here, I'm going to load another hospital just so you guys can see. Okay. And just like that, it already loaded the other hospital. 
Let's go into applications. Now you can see that I have different ventilators preloaded for this profile. So we can go into one of those. This application guides the user through the complete ventilator verification process of the Philips V60. Yes. Look at this. It's got a regular checklist. Did you do it? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Not really. Okay, so here is where we're going to type in the details on the device under test. More details. Oh, look at that. Test to perform. And we can actually deselect some of the boxes to customize the test before we run it. It's excellent. Okay, zero offset. So I'm not going to actually set that guy up because we've got to disconnect it from what's currently going on. You can see currently my ventilator is very happy and I'm trying not to upset it. Do you want to leave the app? Yes, I do. That's so cool. Go back into measurements. So guys, this guy comes in this kit. It's got the pressure hose. It's got a test lung, some USB cables. I have a, a whole bunch of fittings in here. We got a, a USB charger. I've got a AC adapter charger. And we've got uh, a few other pieces in there. Just a bunch of stuff. Very cool, guys. And one of the things that one of my associates was wondering about is this guy right here. This is your pressure port, but notice how it's got this collet. It's a crimp down collet, and that holds the hose on there. Well, the reason they do that is because this guy is also a fully featured manometer. It does pressure and it does vacuum. And we'll go into the specs in a later video, but this guy right here, it does high pressure, like higher than what a ventilator kicks out. So I can actually, if I really wanted to, I can test the line pressure because if there's something that's wrong, possibly with your line, you just connect an adapter real quick and uh, connect it to your wall. Since wall is running at like 60 PSI, I believe, this guy, I think, can go up to 75 PSI. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, that's it. The Citrix H5. What? A neat little device. I'm so glad that they gave this to me for a demo because I was able to share it with the staff here at the hospital, the guys that actually do touch ventilators, and they all want one. <laughs> so, unfortunately, at this moment, we can't have one. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys.